Hello people, today's ace game is in the T-67 Tier 5 American Tank Destroyer. Uh, we are in a Tier 7 game, I'm platooned up with Gunner. He's in his T-67 also. Uh, T-67 uh, is one of my favorite tanks, I would never sell it. <laughs> it's just too much fun. Uh, even if you get to the Tier 10, uh, you know, there's just some tanks that are such a joy to play. Uh, and not only is the T-67 good, it leads to the Tier 6 Hellcat, which is also very good. Uh, the American TD line uh, has uh, several very good uh, tank destroyers that are a lot of fun to play. I'm trying to decide where to go, the, I don't really want to go out here into the field or the 1-2 line area because uh, generally you get rushed over there and get uh, taken out fairly quickly if you're sitting out there in the open. So trying to figure out where can I uh, work in a position where I can be camouflaged up by the bushes and also be able to uh, support the people that did go out into the field. Uh, tanks do did appear but I cannot uh, shoot them. They are outside of my render range. So I've got to relocate again. Try to get in a little bit closer where I can uh, support the people that are out there in the uh, AB12 area. We have a lot of our uh, heavies are going into town. That's where they belong. <laughs> so I'm very happy that our heavies are doing their job and rolling into town. We have a couple of tank destroyers in there already. And then it looks like we've got a medium and a tank destroyer backing up what's in the town. So the deployment looks, looks good uh, at the start of it. We have three uh, artillery pieces here at the base and they're spread out uh, fairly well. I'm still having trouble getting these guys into my uh, gun range so uh, I'm going to get down a little bit closer, find another bush to hide in and see if I can't finally get it, start getting some shots into uh, tanks. Enemy armor is hit. The T-67 is a very, very accurate uh, gun and very good pin but Wait, against tier 7s uh, it, uh, it's a little bit tougher. Penetration. Uh, nice hit into the Hellcat. Gunner has moved down into the stream bed uh, over to my right side. And just uh, someone just ammo racked that uh, T-34-1. That was a nice hit. Try to get as many shots in as I can into the Dicker Max before he backs up behind the cover. We're ahead 5 to 3 right now. It doesn't look too bad. Unfortunately, I just lost Gunner. Uh, that's why I don't like to pull out there too far. It's just, you, you just covered too much, and Artie is what took him out over there. The Hummel is. Uh, what got him once once you lit up Artie is going to rain on him. Artie loves to shoot at open top, uh, open turreted uh, tank destroyers. They do so much damage <laughs> by just coming through the convertible roof. SU-100 is uh, pulled behind the ridge there. I've still got uh, cover. I haven't been spotted here yet. And it looks like our town, that looked like it was going to do so well, is actually not doing well at all. We have one heavy in there still trying to hold on. Gunner did manage to get two kills uh, before he died. So he did a good job over there. Now we're down both of our heavy tanks. waiting for someone to push on this SU-100 over here. Artillery is laying in fire over there. Looks like the enemy has pushed through the town now. and They've got a couple of TDs over there to hold it back. And they just took out uh, one of the heavies there. So uh, everything's still holding up fairly well. It's a close match, 6-7.
looks like they're hoping that uh, artillery can take out that uh, our friendly SU-100 up there. Target acquired. Penetration. I finally start getting some shots in the 34 Penetration. Managed to uh, finally kill that 34-1. I see a medium back here that's coming up on our artillery. Just took out one. So I'm going to try to get back up here and save the artillery. We're going to need it. The enemy has uh, three artilleries. We have one artillery now. Permission to engage. Target so lost. Trying to do what I can to save uh, what artillery is. Uh, Still have left. Ready to fire. Got him. So take out the Fury. I'm going to use this uh, dead uh, artillery as a uh, cover, extra armor. And that was a very close hit from uh, artillery that took my tracks off. Didn't do any damage, but uh, did uh, track me in place. So I got to move. I don't want artillery to get uh, easy shots at my stationary carcass over here. So I'm going to move over here behind the buildings, try to disappear off of the uh, radar, and then uh, put the moves on this Type T-34. Hoping to come in from behind him. I'm going to finish him off and keep moving, because I know artillery is uh, trying to game in on me. So we're down now. Or I should say we're up <laughs> by one tank, uh, 11 to 10. So uh, we managed to finish off what was uh, coming through town there. And we do still have at least one of our artillery pieces uh, still alive. So now I'm going to move over this way and see if I can't uh, support the SU-100. Never mind. <laughs> the SU-100 died. So he doesn't need support anymore. So I'm going to take a left turn and head towards their base. Try to get low, try to get toward the middle of the map and see what I can do. So I've got four kills so far. Yeah, they only have uh, three Arties left and that's not too bad. We have more maneuverable tanks even though we only have one Artie left. Five kills, and then the Dicker Max puts a big hit into me. I killed my loader, which means my reload time is now going to be pretty bad. So uh, I use the duct tape and fix the loader. I always think it's strange in here that you can repair a dead uh, crew member. So with a little magic duct tape, my loader is back in action. 3485 says wait for him and yep I've got uh, no hurry to go up here and face off on that uh, Dicker Max. So I'll wait for these guys to move up. A little team play here. Let him know I'm waiting on him. One hundred M one moving up to my uh, left side. Our T thirty four eighty five moving down the one line on my right side. And I'm stuck in the middle here. <laughs> so I'm waiting for somebody to light somebody up. I'm, I only have 82 hit points left. Uh, so I'm basically a one shot. And our uh, other two guys uh, are still in pretty good health. They can they can take a hit. One puts one into the Dicker Max. Uh, 3485 finishes off the Dicker Max. So now I just need to get that six kill for a top gun. But I don't think I'm going to get there. <laughs> uh, even though uh, they ask them to let me get the six kill, uh, they, you know, I, I don't believe in letting people get whatever. You know, if you can get the kill on the tank, get the kill on the tank. You know, if I can get the six kill, and then I've got my top gun, I earned it. So I get a shot into him, 106 damage, 
They ask him, let me get the kill, but the 3485 finishes him off. And, and I will say this about the guy in the 3485. After the game, he sent me a, a message saying, sorry, that uh, he, he I didn't realize that I needed one more for the Top Gun. So he was very nice about it, but as, as I say, if you can get the kill, go ahead and get the kill. So uh, there's my ace in the T-67 Tier 5 American Tank Destroyer. Thanks for watching. All right, looking at the after action results, it was a uh, ice mastery. I uh, got a fighter uh, reward, fire for effect, bruiser, uh, a high caliber. Always happy to get a high caliber. I uh, got five kills. Um, looks like it was a times five uh, for the first one of the day, so a total of 8,660 XP. Now turning to the uh, team score, number one in damage, 1,936. Uh, I had 29 shots fired, uh, 20 hits, uh, 18 pins. I did uh, 1,936 damage with 1,310 of that coming from a distance of more than 300 meters. So I was basically a sniper in that game. I received two hits, one pin, one didn't. Uh, and they already did splash me there, took my tracks off. Uh, spotted two vehicles. Uh, enemy vehicle damage was eight. Uh, five of those eight I have managed to kill. Uh, damage upon detecting 90, so uh, I wasn't doing a lot of scouting for other people. And distance traveled a little over three kilometers. And looking at um, my favorite part, <laughs> the credits, uh, I received 37,023 silver with premium. After repairing and resupplying ammunition, I made a profit of 21,510. And as I said, it was a times five for the first victory of the day. So my base of 1732 became 8,660 XP with 425 free XP. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate any feedback on the video.